Hi, I have to go to San Francisco right now. <laughs> I just packed. I mean, I booked my tickets like last week, but I wasn't thinking I'd be going to San Francisco immediately and I have to go before I'm too late. So let's go. Feel like falling deeper, cold and ice that no shit. They're too expensive here. Mm. Yay! Rick! Happy last week. Surprise. 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 You know this reservation is non-refundable. We took a huge gamble. <laughs> Dude, yeah, we did. going on with this video. Why are you in San Francisco and why do you have a new job now? There are two things I need to say. As you know, my manager Rick is leaving the company. This is last week. So a bunch of us are here to celebrate and send him off. I told him I wouldn't be coming because I told him I'm so traveled out because I just came back from Asia. But I ended up coming and I surprised him. <laughs> and we brought him out to omakase dinner, which I hope he really liked. I think he liked it. Yeah. The second reason is that I do have a new job now. So far, I've been working at the company on the communities engagement team. The biggest thing we launched last year was forum channels within communities. Now I have changed to the creator revenue team. So my new manager is Derek. You've met him before in a previous video and he was at dinner as well. Yeah, we're gonna meet up this week to talk through strategy, what we're gonna do to help creators on Discord monetize. And I think it's gonna be a really good experience for me, I'm so excited. Ooh. <laughs> 
And if y'all are interested, I'm actually using a new microphone that I bought and my phone to film this whole thing. This is a new setup for me. See how it goes. Oh, uh, stay there. Don't move. Don't move. <laughs> okay, I guess this is the best it can do. Time to get ready for sleep. I did not pack right today. I forgot my toothbrush. I forgot my shampoo and conditioner. I don't even have chapstick. My lips are so dry. Holy cow. Underprepared. I'm using the Burst Cleansing Balm to wash my face. Ooh. Ooh, it's like waxy. Ooh. Oh, this is quite nice. Okay, I changed into PJs and I'm gonna put on a face mask because my skin is so dry. Oh, uh, I just got a, I don't know, like a regular face mask. This is from Taiwan. I bought it at the convenience store. I just wanna take better care of my skin because I feel like I'm kinda getting older here. So it's really important for me to stay hydrated. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. <sighs> Serious question. Do you think I have a chance of waking up tomorrow and going to the gym, showering, getting my hair done, makeup, everything, and getting to the office? We will find out. Write down your answer right now. I think I'm a 50-50. I didn't get a lot of work done today, so I'm just gonna <laughs> get some work done. Good morning. I did not wake up early enough to go to the gym, so <laughs> I'm just gonna shower and go to work. Next time, next time. I just finished showering and I'm gonna head into the office. Today's my last one-on-one -on -one with Rick and I told Rick to promise me that in our very last one-on-one, -on -one, we cannot talk about work. <laughs> Literally 99% of our conversations are all about work. So I feel like everyone else was at Discord for so much longer and they could hang out with him and get to know him and be friends and like get to know each other pre-pandemic, but I never got that. So we'll just talk about life and dreams and yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm running late. I gotta go. Oh, this is the look of the day. I've left to go to dinner. I'll be meeting with my coworker Victoria, who I also hung out with in Taipei, at this cute Japanese like French restaurant called Bonene. Now I'm gonna go eat dinner and I have to go to the Museum of the African Diaspora to, to support my friend Sophia in her film screening and QA. Yeah, one more day, and then I'm heading back home to LA tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Your hair is different color. Yeah, I dyed it this morning. This morning? What do you mean? We use overtones? Yeah. Okay. Wait, you look so good. I was having a crisis. I see. I see how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.
And I have yet to write my card to Rick. I have two cards just in case I mess up on one of them. Ah, I need to write my card before he gets in. This is a Pokemon? No, 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 it's the Temtem. 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 Oh, we are back in Los Angeles. So last night, I was on my flight to SFO and the funniest thing happened. I sat down and this guy was coming onto my row and we made eye contact and I was like, I feel like I know this person. So he sat down, he started playing chess on chess.com and I was like, oh my God, I think I know who he is. So I tapped him on the shoulder and I'm like, excuse me, are you a gamer by any chance? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> And I'm like, are you a Smash player by any chance? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, are you Toph? And he's like, yeah. So apparently we met on an online call six years ago when I was in my startup days, but we've never met in person before. So he looks so familiar to me, but I didn't know it was actually him. And then we ended up talking the entire flight and caught off on like life and everything, you know, career, family, personal life, trips, friendships, all of our mutual friends. And it was really lovely. I felt like it was a great start to the weekend. But yeah, today I am going out to brunch to see my friend Sophia who you've seen already. She's the dancer from Tokyo. Before I go off to brunch, I wanted to show you something very, very special to me. I did a really big thing in my life, which was I bought my very first luxury bag. What? Oh. So I'm not really into luxury clothing at all, but I think it is a milestone for a woman to buy her first handbag. And it means a lot. It means independence. It means investing in yourself. Here it is. This is my first time opening it in the US. I have kept it safe. I don't know how to take this off. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, oh, oh. This is the worst unboxing video ever. I only get to unbox this once. Smells like new bag. <sighs> I see it! Oh my goodness! It's so cute. It just feels so different knowing that you bought this with your own hard-earned money. So, you know, as someone who is 30 this year, I finally got my own big girl bag. I was so nervous at the Burberry store because I was like, this is the biggest purchase of my life outside of my N1 MacBook and then this camera. It is like a button this way. Let me open it and it's very simple inside. It just has like a little flap. Really interesting about this bag is that you can put it on the side just like this, put it cross over. The other thing you can do with it is that you can pull this up and it can be a handbag. Oh, look at that, it's so cute. Um, I did buy it in Japan, so no tax, and the yen is weaker, but it is marked up a little bit. I save a couple hundred dollars on this if I were to buy it here. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna take it out on its first date, which is brunch with Sophia. <laughs> this means so much to me. Okay. Yes, it's that. 